And to end the show on a lighter note, our final question comes from Alice Dare, who writes in, My cat has taken to liking chewing on the speaker wire I have running around my living room. It's 100 watts per channel home surround system. Is this safe? Is there a risk of my cat getting fried? Or will she just get a small shock from time to time? <laughs> she will keep doing it since she's not that bright. <laughs> I have that cat. Any suggestions, for protect, uh, any suggestions to protect this? Tearing up my living room to wire it is not an option, according to my wife. Thanks, Alistair. All right. In theory, it's possible for the kitty. In, in theory, right? I've, I've people who are double E's who can actually do math around this. In theory, I've heard it's possible for the cat to electrocute itself chewing on a speaker tables, but I don't think it's really going to happen. Or I would have killed myself in you know my smaller years experimenting with old tube amps. Look, you can try one of the sprays designed to discourage chewing or you know running them, the cable through some kind of tubing or Romax. Uh, a lot of people say coating cables with soap. They don't like the feel of the soap in their mouth. Or you can lay sticky paper um, or tape near the cable so that when you get near the cables, their paws hit the sticky paper. Yeah, psychological warfare. Well, yeah. <laughs> you just got to make sure that the cat doesn't press its nose up against the sticky paper because oh. there's nothing more pathetic than having to peel whiskers off of a cat with the sticky paper when its nose is caught. Don't ask me how I know this. Um, the spray bottle with water thing. Can you tell I've been living with cats since I was a small child? This all comes from one particularly stupid cat. Um, but like, you know, spray bottle and every time the cat goes near something you don't want it to, spray it with the spray bottle. Um, this was highly amusing using the search on, just because I was thinking, like, what else might be out there? Um, there's some serious links and some not serious postings, but I got to say, uh, my favorite is that there is a cat repelling wire sheathing for sale now, because it's the 21st century, and people will buy weird stuff to protect their cats. Crittercourt.com, I will let you look up the price on that Alistair. It's, it's basically like, it's, it's tubing, you run your cables through, that's, and the tubing's impregnated with cat the stuff that cats don't like. So I guess it's like OD dog and, and I don't know. You could try bribing the pet too with some cat or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Good luck with that. Then you'll have a stoned cat that will wake up and be hungry <laughs> and start chewing on the speaker cables again. Or buy them a ball of speaker wire. Just give them one to play with. In which case, when they get through that, they'll go chew on your speaker wires again That's until true. it kills itself. Yeah, Actually, if, if the power cables are actually the really scary ones, cat will... <laughs> will really do damage to itself chewing on a 120 volt line coming out of the wall. Speaker cables, in theory, it's possible, but it's highly DC unlikely. Going through a speaker wire, isn't it? It should be. But if yeah, it's it's you know it's I started <laughs> right, I think it, the well I started talking about like you know you it's it's amperage you oh know? yeah it's it's, That's it's what does you in apparently yeah I mean I've I've blown myself across the room with with DC current let's not get into that right now because no. then we start explaining like critic cord or soap I like the soap idea soap soap sounds good. Yeah.